What's up mga kacha? It's Kredil here and I'm back no? after a very long time that I have stopped recording uh, video lectures for you guys. Um, yeah, uh, as you can see, my hair is short. This was a uh, vow that I made to myself that as long as uh, I did not pass the board exam, I won't cut my hair. So <laughs> now that you've seen that my hair is short, diba? so that means I have passed the board exam last May 2022 and I'd like to thank all of that uh, congratulated me through Messenger yeah, and also uh, those people who commented in my videos uh, said that congratulations, thank you, thank you for supporting me. Um, as I have uh, as I have observed, no, um, when I stopped doing these lectures, uh, we were left at I don't know uh, about less than a thousand subscribers actually, and then when I stopped. I taught no uh, um, a school, a school, and then uh, I started doing video le lectures for them. And then I did not know that my channel grew. Okay, so about one point twenty-eight thousand, uh, so one thousand two hundred eighty subscribers now, and I really thank you for that. Uh, and now, uh, there are a um, lot of requests that I have been receiving that I should continue uh, my uh, tutorial series, okay? So, about the board exam. Now that I have passed the board exam, so I'm not in a pressure anymore to review, right? to submit my practice tests. No? So, uh, yeah, let's do this. Let's continue where we left off at um, distillation. Okay, so I'm, I did this. Uh, I did the PowerPoint in this last year, I think last year. And I did not have the chance to record it because um, I got busy with uh, my review. Right? And also, I was... Uh, uh, teaching at that time na. Okay, so let's do this. <laughs> let's begin. Okay, so now we are at dist distillation. Diba? So, yeah. Okay, so number one, difference between stage operation and continuous phase contact operation is so, um, what is stage operation diba? and continuous contact separation? Okay, so stage operation, you can see it as a differential uh, batch distillation which in which um, there is no reflux. Diba? There is no reflux. There is no um, just pure uh, separation. For example, this is component A and then component B. So let, you just let component A boil off. But if you say continuous phase contact it, this is your um the distillation that you are used to diba? so with a reflux here diba? and then you have a reboiler here okay the reboiler here oh okay 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 that's i think that's it okay so yeah I don't know. Gala. Okay. <laughs> okay. So if you, if you can see uh stage wise oper a stage operation like differential uh yields uh, infinitesimal change in uh because this is differential batch, so differential does has nothing to us uh, something to do with calculus, the right? differential, so infinitesimal change. And then, kung continuous, discrete na siya. So, uh, the answer here is uh, number one. Uh, ano na yun? Bali na yun, bali, bali. So, muna siya ang A. Uh, muna siya A and B. Diba? So, A, then B. So, kung continuous, like statistics, diba? Kung continuous and discrete. Continuous meaning... It's not an integer, diba? so it has decimal points. So, kung, kung uh, discrete concentration, fixed concentration, so uh, that's letter B. 
Okay? So, A yields discrete because it's stage operation and then kung continuous, it's infinitesimal. Okay? So, number two, 100 moles per hour of solution. This is just simple simple mat material balance but uh, you need to uh, let's run our given. Okay? So, we have 80 moles of A. The rest is B. So, 20 moles. Of D subjected to simple continuous distillation. So D moles of distillate containing 72 moles of A contained. If A is five times more volatile than D, so we have alpha A B. We have five. Okay, so that's the relative volatility. Concentration of A in the distillate is okay. Okay, so let's do that. So we have a differential batch. Uh, uh, So, I would solve this. This is a uh, differential batch. Um, simple continuous distillation. Okay. So, you have a D here. A feed of 100 moles. So, basis on R, ba. Uh, Let's say the basis is 1R. Okay? So, 80 moles of A and then 20 moles of B. So, you have D and then you have DXD W W uh, XW Okay? So, XD so, here, we have D moles of distillate containing 72 moles of A. So, meaning, this is DXD. Okay? So, it's in the, naman daw? It's in the distillate naman. So, you have 72 moles of A. I don't know if how you can uh, solve this, but the answer that I've got is... Um, a bit far from the choices that uh, are seen but let me know if you have another um another uh another uh, way to solve this okay so i'm just doing the groundwork on this okay so you have alpha a b you have five uh five there and then you have uh the material balances, okay? So, you have D plus W and then the component balances. So, FXF, DXD, and then WXW, okay? So, we have now our, uh, and the overall, we have 100, about 100, and then D plus W, okay? And then... Uh, in the component material balance, we have 80. Uh, we are doing the balances in terms of the more volatile component. That's A. So, um, 80. Okay, 80. And then you have 72 plus uh, WXW. Okay? So, this is equation 1 and equation 2. As you can see, we have three equations and three unknowns. So, what should be the third equation? Okay, so the third equation, <coughs> the third equation is, oh, excuse <coughs> me. So we can do this. So W X W is equal to eight. Okay. So, what is the third equation now? The third equation now is the Rayleigh equation. Rayleigh equation. It's uh, it looks like this. L M F X F, and then we have W X W. The relative volatility ln f1 minus xf and then w1 minus xw. Okay, so just substitute what we know. You have ln fxf is equal to 80, then wxw is equal to 8, and this is equal to 5. Ln uh, o, diba? 1 minus xf with a 0.8 
diba? So, that's 20. And then, WXW, you have W minus um, ano? W. So, W minus XW, uh, WXW, so that's 8. Diba? So, W t- my, minus WXW. So, minus 8. So, solve for W, you have 20.62 and then your D is equal to 79.38. Okay? So, XD is the one being uh, required here. So, just uh, divide it by the um, uh, what you got. Okay? So, I got point ninety-one, but the prices here are far out far from what we have got so yeah so I would say A is the answer here okay so yeah let's move on so temperature resolution problem 2 as distillation progresses at constant operating pressure is simply if constant and pressure constant for the temperature na? so constant temperature constant pressure set Okay, number four, enthalpy of saturated vapor at 200 degrees Fahrenheit to uh, referred to 32 degrees Fahrenheit is 1,300 BTU per pound, while the enthalpy of saturated liquid CP1 referred to point, uh, zero, degrees cell, uh, zero degrees Fahrenheit is 400 BTU per LB. So then the latent heat of the vaporization of the component at 200 Fahrenheit, 200 degrees Fahrenheit is so. How can we solve that? Okay, how it can we solve that is by doing um actually you are uh, required the lambda here, di ba? Lambda ang uh, require ana. So lambda is equal to uh, HV, so the enthalpy of the vapor minus the enthalpy of the liquid. Okay, so we have the enthalpy of the vapor which is 1300 at 200 degrees Fahrenheit. So we have um, we have the uh, such an enthalpy of saturated liquid at zero degrees Fahrenheit. So we need to adjust that to thirty-two degrees Celsius. At uh, Celsius, thirty-two degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. So how can we uh, adjust that? So HL. Okay, so we have 400, diba? 400. Just um, minus, minus lang. I minus lang siya. So we have CP delta T. Okay, so we have CP delta T here. And then that's equal to 1. And then we have uh, uh, plus din siya. Plus, no? Plus. Plus din siya. Because our reference temperature is 0. So we are referring it to 0. And then 32 man ang asagikan, so where it is from. So for 400 minus 32, so 400 minus 32, that's equal to 368. So now the 368 will be subtract, subtracted to a 1300. So 368, so you have 932. BTU per LB. Okay, so that's that simple. So that's that's letter <coughs> D. Okay, so number five, desorption is another term for uh, stripping. Okay, so you can find that in uh, desorption. So desorption, uh, gas absorption. Okay, so gas absorption, the opposite of that is stripping. Okay, yeah. Next. Uh, in the simple batch distillation, the boiling point for the distilled product compared to the residue. Okay, so boiling point man daw of the distillate. So meaning, kung distill distillate iba, it's the more volatile product. So we have a um, more volatile. So meaning, uh, it's it requires less heat to 
vaporize, di ba? So meaning the temperature to that is uh, lower, di ba? Lower naman. Okay, so uh, number seven when the feed to the rectifying column is saturated to liquid, the feed line is um, just refer to figure uh, 13-23 in your Paris, I think. Uh, I didn't do it here. Okay, so uh, kung saturated liquid, example, in the uh, in the example, the, this is the uh, McCabe fill na solution, di ba? McCabe fill. So, if it is saturated liquid, the feed line, so if this is the XF, di ba? This is XB, then XB. So, the the feed line is uh, vertical. Okay. Uh, feed line is vertical. Vertical. So, kung so, uh, if the feed is saturated vapor, it is horizontal. Okay. Just explore that. Uh, figure 13-23 in your 8th Ed Paris. Okay, so number 8, the distillation process involves heat and mass transfer. Yeah. <laughs> because you're, you're heating it and then there is a transfer of uh, it's, it's change in concentration. So there is really a mass transfer happening there. Number nine, liquid mixture containing 45 uh, and it's to be fed a uh, refractionating column at a rate of 500 uh, kilograms per hour. The feed rate in kilogram moles per hour. So you have to convert that to moles. Okay, so what you have, what you'll have here is that you, you will get the average molecular weight of the mixture. Okay, so just um, do weighted nga average. Ba? So, for example, a, uh, our average molecular weight here is uh, just the uh, 45 benzene. The 40, uh, benzene's uh, molar mass is equal to 78.11 plus 0.55 um, the molar mass of toluene. That's 92.14. Okay, we'll, ah, what am I writing here? Then, sige lang, okay ra. Uh, 2.14, that's equal to 85.83. Okay, 85.83. So, just uh, divide that by the, what we have got. Uh, the answer is 58.26. Okay. So, what is the nearest here? So, it's the nearest here. So, just choose letter A. Okay? So, that's the nearest. Yeah. So, please forgive me if I uh, do this sometimes because in the board exam, uh, while there is a, uh, a vacant <laughs> part in the back of the, the paper, I tend to write it on the question beside it because for easier identification of the given and then I would not be lost in the uh, solution because uh, it's very difficult and then when your the space is limited you can you do what you have to do to be comfortable in your <laughs> in your state okay so now let's go to number 10 number 10 so binary solution A is a low boiler so uh, just uh, remember low boiler so meaning uh, if the feed concentration A less than easy tropic point, the concentration and distillate, siyempre, if it is a low boiler, meaning it will not go up, okay? So, the distillate will be higher in B, okay? Because A is a low boiler, okay? It will not go up. Uh, or just more of it will be B, okay? Number 11, <clears throat> operation by which miscible liquids are separated from one another through heat and mass transfer. So we are talking about distillation. <laughs> we are talking about distillation here. Okay, so number 12, relative volatility of uh, close to one. The components can be separated by, no, you can't do it by simple fractionation. Any low pressure distillation, somewhat, no. You can do it by extractive distillation. No? What extractive distillation does is that you have, I uh, think you have, a uh, distillation, 
but but what I can I I can remember you are go, going to put a another uh, another uh, component that will react with the um, desired component, diba? and then that will be will go for um, distillation. Okay, so you just trade on that. <laughs> I haven't reviewed this actually, but I know it's extracted distillation because you can't do it by fractionation. You can't do it by batch distillation because it will only yield uh, the same. So there is no separation really happening. Some of if, um, especially if low pressure distillation, uh, it will not um, it will not be viable. So. In the, in the later part of your Paris in chapter 13, you can see the azeotropic, um, uh, the azeotropic mixtures, that, and then the ways how to separate them. Okay. So number 13, uh, degrees of freedom. So F, so F is equal to C minus T plus two. So ternary. So many ternary is um tulo diba 3 ternary 3 pla pla uh, minus how many phases do you have you have actually you have liquid and vapor phases lang so 2 plus 2 so you have 3 so yeah and then number 14 vacuum distillation is resorted to in order to simply if low on temperature because it is vacuum so you can ab- avoid uh, high, you can avoid uh, high feed and reboiler temperature. You can, and then in effect, if it is uh, in uh, high, uh, it is low in feed and reboiler temperature. You can reduce the number of trays in the column. Okay, yeah, that's really. Uh, I've seen it in a plant. So the plant uh, that I have been uh, in immersion so i spent 120 hours in that uh, company okay so the, really uh this there is a very tall <laughs> distillation column there it's seven floors high so um i really went in. <laughs> i really climbed it okay so yeah that's uh to be a top uh, uh, distillation column is so nice it's so windy up there <laughs> Okay, so number 15, so to improve the degree of separation, the more volatile component from the less volatile component for distillation, the chemical engineer may, without changing other variables, you can, okay, so what I have said uh, earlier, you can reduce the column pressure, okay, so you can reduce the column pressure so that the plates required uh, will be, uh, will be fewer and then in effect the distillation if it uh, instead of a very tall uh, uh, distillation column you can reduce the bus so you can reduce the height of the re- uh, column okay so now uh, number 16 the increasing operating pressure so simply if you increase the operating pressure that operating temperature will also be uh, higher and then in effect if you increase the operating pressure the column will be taller diba? so that makes se- separation difficult okay and also we are saving money here diba? so we ca- don't want our tall column to be very tall okay yeah number 17 um, at top uh, the boiler provides heat to the, simply the bottom of the distillation column because there it's here it boils. Okay, uh, number eighteen, the molal heat latent vaporization of the binary system is very much dependent on concentration. So remember this: if the molal latent heat of vaporization and versus concentration, this is the ponchon salvaret method. If you can remember. Uh, it's very uh, you are stacking two two um, 
graphing papers, di ba? If you can remember that, it's, it, if you've been taught by your teacher, the, the OG teachers, di ba? They are the ones, the one in the up, uh, the upper part is the uh, the concentration, uh, uh, enthalpy concentration diagram, and in the uh, in the bottom uh, graphing paper is just the uh, equilibrium curve and then the operating line diba so that's it's very enjoyable we we really enjoy that uh, process uh, in the back in my undergrad days uh, i i got the answer to that but um oh, I, i i perfected that And I don't know how to do that now. Okay. So maybe if I will teach that, I will have to study it again. Okay. So number 19, uh, open steam binary rectification will be applied with success if the less volatile component is, uh, this is water. Okay. So this is water. Uh, minimum reflux ratio, the number of plates. So uh, if minimum reflux ratio the number of plates there is infinite okay so if infinite and refl- uh, infinite and number of plates minimum reflux ratio okay. so it's uh they are interrelated okay so one uh identifies the other okay so number 21 in a vacuum distillation column the vacuum is usually created by a vacuum pump <laughs> So usually a vacuum pump is uh, at the top of the uh, for example this is your column so it's put here at the top uh, to decrease the pressure so to vacuum pressure okay so that lowers the pressure here at the top and then in effect lowers the temperature here at the top also so that the uh, separation will be easier okay and then the volume will be uh, uh, significantly shorter. <laughs> okay? Number 22, relative volatility mixture at azeotropic point. Azeotropic point, um, as you can see, uh, if you have um, the so na, LV diagram, siguro na. And then, if you this point you know yeah, the, where no separation happens diba? where no separation happens so uh, the relative volatility there is equal to 1 because will not separate, separate okay so number 23 uh, a sub difficulty of separating components by distillation is determined by <laughs> just talked about it just the relative volatility okay Uh, the butanizer is a let's say mass transfer equipment just search it okay um, number 26 ah number 24 is the third bit yes in distillation the cooled liquid stream returned to the column to cool a plate or stage is called that's the reflux okay so um, okay, you have a condenser here and then this Well, this ty- uh, this is the uh, this is the reflux that's the R and then L that's the, the one you ha- you are extracting so that's your product uh, then D that's the distillate diba? <clears throat> that's in the upper part the liquid returned uh, returned to the column to cool a plate or a stage is called that's the reflux okay so this stream is called the reflux Okay, number 22, uh, 26, the mixture of 2 moles of benzene and 8 moles of toluene will boil at. So, we'll, we'll need a figure for this, I think. Yes, you have the figure of that, figure 13-4. So, um, 2 point, uh, 20%, diba? So, just project it to the left and then read. Saan ni siya? Saan ni siya ngakuan? That's what temperature is that. So, um, balik ta. So, that's uh, around 102 degrees Celsius. Okay? So, that's not 105 because it's so near to 100. Okay? So, uh, 105 is around here. So, that this must be 102. 
Okay? So, number 27. Makin PL method to determine the theoretical number of stages may be applied with <coughs> applicable result if uh, number 27, the system follows Truton's rule. Okay? So, follows Truton's rule. So, Truton's rule is uh, the SVAP niya. Uh, that's the latent heat of vaporization over the temperature that's almost uh, almost always equal to 88 joules per mole Kelvin so this is an empirical relation and it is not valid for hydrogen bonded liquids so for example water because it's hydrogen water has hydrogen bond <clears throat> okay so mga organic na siguro organic uh, chemicals organic substances you can do with a uh, makib fuel okay so you can do it with alcohol okay so because uh, it's not valid with uh, hydrogen bonded nga liquids okay number 28 the distribution coefficient of nhexane at 10 atm absolute at 200 degrees celsius is so here I have prepared a diagram for you that's a uh, figure uh, figure 13-9b okay so the pressure here is 100 um, 10 atm absolute so that's around uh, 100 uh, 151 i think 151 so uh, 150, 10. so this is 100 147 at okay, 14.7 psi amen ang 1 uh, 1 atm okay so 10 atm it's 147 na psi a so that's around 100 145 so 147 psi a so that's that uh, project that to here the temperature the body is in temperature is in degrees fahrenheit So whatever you will hit here, so find the find the one uh, with the n-hexane. So n-hexane here, n-hexane here. If you uh, view that with your Paris, is around here. I think this is the line for the n-hexane. Oh, okay. So the Okay, so that's really it. That's really it. <laughs> that's really it here. So that's 1.4. That's 1.4. It's really uh, it really hit a 1.4. Okay. 1.4. That's 1.4. Okay. <clears throat> Next is um, theoretical minimum reflux ratio. So minimum reflux ratio meaning infinite number of things. <laughs> yeah. Sige, number 30, the physical separation of components. So, we are talking about distillation here. Na? Batch open, dis- open steam distillation. The solution to be open steam distilled should be. So, what is open steam distillation? So, open steam distillation meaning the steam will enter the mixture. Good. Okay, so if you can uh, remember your steam distillation in uh, The laboratory, diba? if you're extracting something, uh, this is in common with it, this a extraction of essential oils. Diba? So where you put the plant in a soxlet uh, uh, separator, I think, I think that's soxlet, diba? I think. Uh, I can't remember the equipment. Um, and then you pass that with steam and then the steam will extract the essential oil and then you have the liquid in the distillate nga, um, that's so uh, so fragrant you know, depending on the uh, substance that you are extracting the essence with di ba? so I remember we did that with cinnamon with cinnamon and it was powder <laughs> Uh, we extracted it with powder and then cinnamon it's brown cinnamon powder is brown but the the essence that we extracted with it's colorless okay and but still it smells like cinnamon because we extracted the essence the essential oil of cinnamon there 
Okay? So, that's really common with steam distillation. So, you are, you should be, uh, if you are doing steam distillation, you're making sure, you will make sure that uh, your solution is completely immiscible in water. Why? Because, as I've said, we are, for example, in uh, in essential oils, you don't want your uh, your oil to be soluble in water because how can you extract that um, later? Okay, so you want that to be. Uh, if you have seen a perfume, the right? perfume there are alcohol based and then they are water based. So water based, there are only colognes, okay? But perfume that's alcohol based. So yeah. <laughs> we are doing with perfumes now. Okay. So let's uh, continue with number 32. This uh, the highest pressure in the distilling column distilling column will be at the bottom. Okay? So because that's where the reboiling happens, so the pressure is high there. Number 33, uh unit operations by which the lighter components, multi component uh, uh, distillation. <laughs> What, what are we talking about here? That's distillation. Okay, distillation with two components and both components are found in both phases. Only one variable is liquid phase concentration can be changed independently if the pressure is fixed and the temperature vapor concentration is follow. This statement is true. <laughs> okay. Number 35, heat transfer equipment. Uh, vapor to liquid. So that's a condenser. Diba? Vapor to liquid. Number 36, mass transfer to take place, there must be a concentration gradient. If mass transfer, di ba? Uh, weight, fed column, and change, change. So, the condition of this feed is... So... Okay, tanawa. <laughs> okay, so 50 daw. 50. 50, ah. Naroon din lang 50. Okay, let's see that. Uh, wait, benzene. Okay, okay. This condition of the feed is trawa. This is. Uh, it's wrong. So, that day. Now, there is 0.5, diba? And if you project that there, and then 180 degrees Fahrenheit. <coughs> 80 degrees Fahrenheit, ba? So that's around 82.22 degrees. Ah, no, no, no. So this is small fraction, diba? And then by weight. So you have to convert that. So assume um, a basis, diba? And then if you can. Actually, I taught this in my previous videos. I'll just give you the small fractions. Okay, so mole fraction sa benzene is 0.54 and then sa toluene, it's just the difference, 0.46. So, <clears throat> the, so it's, uh, so, uh, that the mole fraction of benzene is here. And then the temperature, 180 degrees Fahrenheit, that's around 82.22. So, 82.22 degrees Celsius. So, around here. And then, as you can see, it's not inside the region, diba? This is the two-phase region. It's the L plus V na region. You add, uh, this is the uh, V na region. And then, this is the liquid region. Okay? So, what should be the answer here? Because the region is uh, here, diba? So, I think that is... That is saturated, ah, subcooled liquid. Subcooled liquid, okay? So, subcooled na liquid. Why? Because this is the saturating, saturate, saturated vapor line, okay? So, this is saturated vapor line. This is saturated, uh, saturated liquid line. This is a saturated vapor line. So, inside that region is the mixture of liquid and vapor. So, our... Uh, our substance is all track about we did not reach the saturation liquid line so it's uh, saturated liquid line so it is a subcooled liquid okay so just watch the video again so that you can understand what I'm saying number 38 the distilla uh, distillation column uh, 
uh, the partial condenser is composed of seven theoretical stages, uh, defining section, uh, a rectifying section, and eight theoretical se stages in stripping section. If the overall plate efficiency is 60%, then the actual feed plate is D. So, feed, um, alang, 0.6. So, just divide with by the efficiency and then minus 1. Okay? So, that's 10. 0.67 ika 10.67 nya plate so meaning that's the 11th plate so letter A okay so num uh, yeah so if this is the this is the upper diba so this is 7 plates da po no and this is 8 plates so to, in order to do one the to because you are counting from top to uh, top to bottom Diba? So, what we'll do here is that um, copy what I did, then minus 1, that's 11, uh, 10.67, uh, round off to 11. Okay? Number 39, so actual number of plates in the installation column, diba? Ang total number of plates kay 15 man. So 7 plus 8 is equal to 15. So just divide it by the efficiency, 0. 0.6. So you have around um, 25. 25, so 39, that's the 30C. Okay? So, number 40, using the Antoine's equation, vapor pressure of tetrahydrofuran. Okay, this is in your Paris. Okay. Tetrahydrofuran is a, at 80 degrees Celsius is estimated to be blank torque. Okay, so what you what we will need in the tetrahydrofuran, this, this is found in table... Um, I think table 13-4, the Antoine equations nga, nga, uh, constant in your Paris 8th ed. So, uh, the Antoine equation, di ba? Antoine equation is P sat is equal to 10 uh, A minus B T plus C. Diba? So, T here is in uh, degree Celsius. So, A here, 10, uh, 6.99515 minus 1202.290 over 226. So, this is the C, 0 0.204 plus the temperature, which is 80. And then the answer is in four. Four na siya ang siya na yapon. So, nag thirsty. Okay, strictly speaking, the relative volatility of the most ideal base binary solution is actually slightly uh, affected by temperature. Uh, number 42, uh, non isotropic solution being distilled uh, from um, the normal, so non isotropic, di ba? Temperature and distillation column from bottom, bottom to top, diba? It's the the highest pressure is and uh, the highest temperature is in the bottom and then the lowest temperature is in the top, diba? So increase uh, decreases, diba? Okay. Next, uh, number 43, the primary reason why closed system closed steam is used in an open batch steam distillation is to increase the to increase the number of degrees of freedom okay i don't know why number 44 um in a two component flash distillation process when the operating pressure is specified the concentration of distillate may be improved in the more volatile component if the so concentration of distillate may be improved more volatile component if one lang if the uh the operating temperature is decreased actually. Open. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So flash distillation. So flash distillation. If you know flash distillation, 
Okay, flash distillation is achieved in a vacuum uh, process, di ba? So, it's really do not have a... Um, it's yung know, minimal lang ang, ang kuan sa ang contribution sa temperature. But what happens is, in uh, the flash distillation column, you have a column here that's in a vacuum and then you just introduce the mixture here and then because it is vacuum it will forcibly separate the more volatile component from the less volatile component without the aid of uh, without the aid of heating right? so thus uh, if you decrease the temperature or you decrease the pressure the by in effect the temperature will decrease also so in a, vac- in a flash distillation process it is operated in a vacuum. Okay, so that's a low temperature you have for your process. So, uh, the concentration of distillate, siyempre, will be improved if the lower ang temperature because lower po ang temp- pressure inside the vacuum, uh, the flash, distil- flash distillation column. Okay? That's that. Number 45, okay. Uh, number 32, so we have... Uh, and then the height of equivalent packed column is so ang HEPP so height isa, isa, isa. height of an equivalent packed column okay so ang height of an equivalently packed column is equal to hug nug okay hug nug so we we determined the N, diba? N, the number of in pack distillation column, it's called the number of transfer units. Okay, that's equivalent in the uh, in the tray, diba? or in the stage-wise operation, that's equivalent to the number of plates. Okay, so how many plates did we have in 38? Number 38, we, we counted it was 15, diba? 15, so 7 plus 8 plus 15. But, 15, but the, the two there, the, the one there, actually, minus two na siya. Why? This is the reboiler and this is the condenser. Okay? So, minus na siya sa mga plates. So, actually, we only have 13 plates in our distillation column. And that is the num- uh, equivalent of the number of transfer units in our distillation column. So, the hub here, we are given 2 feet, diba? 2, and then the nug number of transfer units is 13. So, we have 26 feet nga distillation column. So, that's number, letter C. Okay. So, number 46, um, the percentage change in the boiling point of 20 mol benzene tolerance solution when the pressure is increased from 1 ATM to 2 ATM is. So I hope I have. Ah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Okay, so 20 man, diba? 20. So if we extend that to 2 ATM, diba? And then. Okay, so it's here. So this is the temperature there. Diba? So that's around 128, I think. And then is this is around 1.102. Uh, what we have uh, determined earlier. So these are the boiling points. TB, TB. Okay, so what is the percent increase in the boiling point temperature? So just minus lang, 100, uh, 102, then 102. 100, that's 25.5 increase. Ba? Uh, 25.5 increase in the boiling point temperature. Okay, so a recent availability of digital computers resulted in the development of many analytical expressions in K values. So, <clears throat> as it, uh, if you can remember, if you, or if you have gone through this, uh, we have a simulator in the laboratory, uh, computer laboratory before called DW Sim. Okay, so you can choose there whether you have to uh, use the NRTL, Wilson equation, or the Uniquack, the mga values. 
So actually, all of this you can use for k values. Okay, so number, the last numbers. Okay, so <clears throat> activity coefficient of a component, uh, low pressure is 1. <laughs> Aba? 1 ba? 1? No, no, no. Uh, 48. Non-ideal liquid solution at low pressure approximately equal to Sorry, none of this. So, let down the answer. Number 49. Okay, approximate number of minimum stages. So, this, this is actually found in your Paris. So, relative we have relative volatility of 2.35 and then compositions of 0.98, the distillate 0 0.045 in the bottoms. So, this is XD and then XB. Okay. So, what equation do we have to use there? We have to use the Penske equation. So, Penske equation. So, you can find this in your Paris. Uh, this is, I don't know which, uh, um, but I've seen this in your Paris. But I really didn't use it because, um, in the board exam, uh, we were told that uh, the number of stages will not come out, okay? But in the recent you know, board exam which I took, there was a question on the number of stages, okay? But I didn't have the, but the relative volatility was not given, so I was able to answer it. <laughs> Okay. So yeah, we have the XD, 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 and then the alpha AD. Diba? So just substitute all uh, given there. So log 0.98, 1 minus 1, uh, 0 0.045, and then 0 0.045, 1 minus 0 0.98, uh, over, all over log. 2.35 so that's equal to uh, 8.13 okay that's 8.1 okay number 50 the last number um nearly pure products in stage of uh, stage operation theoretical number of plates may be estimated using the tiller tour equation now okay i haven't seen a tiller tour equation but it's what says there in the um in the in the what in the reviewer in the MRI reviewer okay so that's it actually uh, the, the review uh thank you for really watching my videos I really appreciate you all with uh you would have been, been here if uh, not because of you. Uh, I just want to thank you. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so and then click the notification bell so that you won't miss a single upload of my videos. Okay, so I plan to do this every week now. Or depending if I'm not busy, just pray that I will not be very busy so that I can help you in your review. Okay, so. Yeah, um, so that's it with uh, the that's it with uh, my time. It was. I hope you really enjoyed it. And please share this to your uh, friends. Uh, please share this to your friends. Um, I would really appreciate it if uh, the more will subscribe. And then I really want to monetize na my uh, channel. If you have been seeing ads, it's not me, it's YouTube. And I want they are profiting from my videos, but I can profit from my videos. So please do uh, encourage all us uh, some like other students to watch my video, especially if you are going through your review now in your uh, review classes in college. Okay, so I heard that there is a review class in college now, and that's very good because we didn't have that before. Okay, so that's it for me. Uh, this is uh, Senior uh, 
Kuya Dale, diba? um, I hope you uh, wish you good health and uh, good luck. Thank you. Bye-bye.